Hey Scorpios, I'm back y'all with another video. So I tried to upload you guys this video twice yesterday. So we're gonna do this again today. All right, so give me a message for my Scorpios, please. All right, for the month of August. Ooh. All right, so it looks like some of you may have been in an unrequited situation with someone possibly from your past. We got past life relationship. So something or someone that you were dealing with in your past, you feel like the situation is unrequited. Like maybe you're giving more to the situation than they are or, you know, you just feel like there's no equal give and take. So for some of you, you got new love coming in. You got new love interests, okay? You possibly already have this new love interest. You're already in the process of dealing with someone new or someone new is coming, okay? I feel like you guys are definitely freeing yourself. You're taking your power back from this past person and you're allowing someone new to come in, okay? I feel like you may have, you know, this person that's coming in, it's going to be worth the wait. I feel like some of you that are already dealing with someone new, you're getting to know each other. There's a lot of playful energy going on, like a lot of childlike energy going on here. Um, you may be discussing with this person, you know, um, what are their beliefs. Like you're getting to know this person. This person is getting to know you. You could be feeling like this person here is your soulmate, okay? But then we got this person from the past that could be trying to creep back in um, and wanting to give a relationship a chance again and want to heal we got healing family issues. Okay, so let's talk. Scorpios, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Tell me more about Scorpio's person. How does Scorpio person feel about Scorpio? We got the nine of swords okay we got the nine of swords here so your person is feeling like they're overthinking like they are they're feeling an, an anxious or feeling uh nervous they aren't trying to they don't want to force you or um push you away maybe they feel like you you're pushing them away i feel like this is a past person's energy somebody feels like you're um pushing them away tell me more page of cups well this person is really anxious to communicate with you yeah, somebody wants to come back around for sure, for sure. Yep, see, somebody wants this Ten of Pentacles from you, with you. Somebody wants a long-term relationship with you. I'm getting some, like somebody wanted to rush in. But they could be feeling like there's something in the way. A connection that you have with someone else. Two of Cups. Maybe you told this person that you're already in a relationship. You told them that you're happy. Three of Wands here for future energy. Yeah. This person is saying, hey, there's been an ending between us. I can't really force you to take action. But they really want to come towards you. They really want to reach out to you and communicate. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. We got the devil here. Um, 
I'm kidding as well. We got the sun card here. Definitely Leo's energy. But I'm picking up that this person is just very surprised um, on how you're responding or how you're not responding or how you're, you know, kind of like they feel like you're pushing them away. They want to reach out to you. They want to communicate with you. Um, they want answers. Okay. They've been spying on you. And they're feeling regretful or guilty about something. Okay. Their intuition was telling them to wait to make some type of move. Possibly because you guys could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Yeah, see, I'm getting that there's some type of temporary breakup. Or they feel like they was thinking that this, you know, breakup could possibly be temporary. But they found out that, no, it's really over. We got the hermit and the world. Like, no, it's really over. It's really over. And maybe they were thinking like, oh, this is just a temporary. You know, we always do this. You know, but come to find out, they found out that you were serious. Why is the ten of swords here? We got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm not going to use it because it fell on the floor. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Four of Wands. Someone could be married um, or separated or headed for a divorce. Okay? Yeah, see, somebody finally left. Somebody finally walks away from a situation. Okay? Somebody finally walked away from a situation. Somebody was giving somebody hell. For sure, for sure. Somebody could have just wanted the money out of the situation or wanted the benefit. And once the benefits were over, the relationship was over. All right, why is the three of wands here? The Emperor. You could be dealing with the Aries. This person was waiting for it. It looks like future energy. It looks like they're waiting um, to hear from you. There's this person. I'm getting like this person just doesn't believe that you would move on without them. That you would find somebody else. Okay. Because we got the lovers and the seven of cups. That's a decision between, you know, someone having options. What's the strength card here? I feel like you were pretty confident that this person was going to run back. In fact, you may have wanted them to. Just so you can, you know, tell them like, hey, nope, nope. <laughs> uh -uh. No. Sorry. <laughs> a little too late. A little too late. Why is the devil here? This person wants to get together, maybe to drink, to have fun, um, to lay up. This is their hopes, okay? They have a hope that, you know, hey, like, we can we can work this out. <laughs> but it's toxic. I feel like this is some type of toxic cycle. Yeah. They're possibly going to try to come around and... and uh, portray to you like you know we can still be friends and they're gonna you know we can see where this is headed okay they're doing this to get your attention um, but they got a plan they're coming in with a plan and they're going to apologize um, they're spying on you for sure they're spying That's fine for sure. This person could also be going through some type of financial strain and maybe coming around to ask you for um, some assistance and some help. <laughs> All right, let's see what they want to say to you.
What does this person want to say to my Scorpio? What does this past person want to say to Scorpios? I can't stop thinking about you. I'm so attracted to you. So this person is still, like, they are still head over heels. I want to tell you how I feel. I regret lying to you. I love you unconditionally. We need to let each other go. But this person can't because they're still in love. I'm not available. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this energy is theirs and this energy is yours. We need to let each other go. I'm not available. So maybe you're not available to this person. I feel you even though we are apart. This person feels you leaving them behind. And even though like when um, other people bring you up around them, they try not to react um, when people mention your name. If you aren't in contact with this person, this person is afraid to reach out. Let's get some advice from the angels and see what messages we get. Please give me a message for my Scorpios for August. Meditation brings answers. We got no Perfect timing. I feel like it's a perfect time to focus on your finances. We had abundance right there at the bottom. If you believe, okay, so listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you no, go with it. Meditation is going to bring you answers. So whatever, if you're going into meditation and you're thinking about the situation, you're reevaluating the situation and you come out of meditation and the things that spirit has, the downloads that spirit has gave you. If you believe that, you know, the pieces and everything connects together, then go with that. If your intuition is telling you no, listen to it. Okay. Give me one more card, please. Unlikely. Okay, with perfect timing, we got unlikely. Okay? There's something that needs to be communicated clearly. Okay? Right now, it's unlikely that right now is a good time for you and this person to possibly come back together. Because I feel like there's some things that need to be communicated first. There needs to be a clear line of communication. There needs to be things that are said, boundaries that need to be set before this situation can move forward and successfully. Um, I feel like right now may not be the best time. We got unlikely to move forward with this person. All right, so that's the message that I have for you, Scorpios. If this message resonated with you, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As well, guys, you can check out my website. Go ahead and support your girl at www.empressempireoils.com. As well, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, all of that information is in the drop box below. So I will chat with you guys later. Ciao.